the DA52V Ebery. Motoring at its finest. Check her out, she's got her studless tyres on for winter, although it's not even that cold anymore. We out here, it's a beautiful day, so we're just having a bit of a run at the park with a dog. Let's have a look inside this thing. Factory cup holders that pull out, air con, which isn't connected at the moment because um, the belt was too short for some reason. Aircon belt was too short. It's a K van, but uh, it looks small from the outside, but it's really quite large. You can fit four people in this thing comfortably. And they actually made a different model. It's exactly the same shape van, but uh, has four seats in the back and uh, not a K car. It's called a Landy. All they did was change this panel, this panel, this, and this. The rest of it's completely the same. And when I say the same, I mean the diffs are different. The engine's different. It's a 1.4. This is only a, a 660 cc, or 659 or 57 or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's got dual sliding doors, uh, keyless entry. This seat folds down. Uh, if I can So it folds flat like that or if you pull this the Back here it goes full flat So you can quite easily fit sheets of MDF or I mean you'd fit a motorbike in here if you really wanted to you might have to put the uh, Shotgun seat forward a little bit, but Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'd fit a motorbike in there Blam, seats four. I needed a car while I was working on the carry. Um, and uh, this thing came up, so I bought it. Let's have a look at the engine in it. This engine is actually the engine out of my K truck. And the reason for that is if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, the water pump or the alternator or both, uh, decided they didn't want to work anymore while I was on the highway, and uh, that was a fun experience. I made it home, but only just. So I put the carry engine in this. Now I have a sneaking suspicion that the exhaust manifold is different on this than it is on the truck, even though the engine is exactly the same. The intake manifold, let's have a look at that as well while we're here. There's just two latches on the front. I'll show you the latches. These latches on the front go into these, and that's all that holds the seat down. So you can fold the seat up. Now the intake manifold in this. The intake manifold is different on um, this later model. This is a later model than my K truck. There's actually three different intake manifolds for this engine in this body shape, be it a truck or a van. There was a carburetor model, which means that would have a different intake manifold. There's this, um, this one is the, the last, the last shape they ran with. The one in the middle is the one that's in my K truck. Um, and it's very similar to the, the carburetor model in the fact that it's quite short, that these runners are quite short. This one's extremely long, and there's extra, uh, like the throttle body's here, and then it goes that way, and then there's like a plenum, and then it goes to these, and then there's another plenum, and then it then it goes into the the engine. It's a very big and heavy, elaborate setup, but I believe it actually makes more power with this than it does on the short. It probably has something to do with emissions as to why they went to this. But I think it might actually make more power 
Don't know though. There's the aircon right there. As you can see, it's quite difficult to work on. But yeah, um, what was I saying? The exhaust manifold. The exhaust itself, I thought was the same between the van and the truck, and you'd expect it to be because they are the same shape underneath. But they're not, they're different, which is very inconvenient. Um, yeah, I couldn't use the carry muffler on this thing, which was annoying, because this one actually broke and I had to weld it back up. Um, it is tiny, tiny battery. Tiny, tiny battery. Which is why I upgraded it in the carry truck. This is just, you, I mean, shit. This is okay. This is okay for just running the engine, but if you put a stereo or anything in it, then you're just not going to have enough power, in my opinion. Um, and with the alternator, which is there, only being 45 amps, um, yeah, it's just not, not sufficient to run any kind of audio system. Um, what else can we say about this? Van. Oh, the factory floor mats, I mean, they're nice, aren't they? Mm, JDM, bro. Gotta get that flare. Um, storage is a glove box. Uh, this is where the airbag would be. Um, but this is a two-wheel drive. Two-wheel drive model, which is why it's a DA-52. My truck is a DB-52. The B meaning four drive. I don't know why they went with a B lettering. Something weird. The latches work like this. The stereo. The stereo is an interesting one. The speaker's here. Behind here, the speaker grill, there's nothing. There's another speaker grill over there. Nothing at all. No rear speakers, obviously. In fact, this unit itself doesn't actually have any speaker outputs at all. If you wanted to run speakers up there, you would have to change the deck. It cannot be done from that. Well, when I say it cannot be done, I mean it, it could be done, but you'd have to pull the deck apart. It is only AM as well. Uh, there's no FM on this radio, which doesn't matter so much in Japan because uh, the Japanese radio isn't really anything to brag about anyway. The higher level models actually came with a roof console that goes there. Um, this one didn't even get two sun visors. That's how mid-range this thing is. We have front discs. And we have rear drums. Yep, they spared no expense when building this. Here's an interesting fact. On the Every, the Every is considered like a car, K car. So you can put virtually any wheels on this you like. However, on the truck, that's um, classified as a light truck, which means you're only allowed to have light truck tires on it. And in Japan, light truck tires only come in a 12-inch um, size. So you have to run 12-inch wheels or you cannot register your truck. After you register, you can change them out. And I guess if you got pulled over by the police and they noticed, you might get in trouble. Um, don't know about that. But every, everybody does it. But um, when you go for your two-yearly inspection, you have to have 12-inch wheels with the special light truck tires which isn't so much of a problem because they are cheap as um, but they're not the, the best uh, for highway travel or uh, things like that I've heard about even high quality brand light truck tires not performing well after five years or so of use um, but I don't know much about tyres, to be honest, so I don't know whether that's normal or, or what. Yeah, if you have any questions about the, uh, the Every, hit me up in the comments. Ooh, roof racks, didn't tell you about those. I scored them from a second-hand shop. Um, they were 25 bucks for the pair. 
pretty stoked about that. Uh, these were for the DA64 high roof, um, which just so happens to be high enough to fit this truck. And the 64 also has the rain rails, which is how these attach. Lucky. But yeah, score. Um, yeah, any questions, hit me up in the comments. And I'll get back to you on it. Alright, I'm out.